Ramirez. Another question, actually. This is more of a slightly technical question. So you've yeah. got this book, right? I'm going to plug it a little bit. So you've got oh, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Queen Cole. Thank and you. just to plug it a little bit, it's a fascinating book. And I definitely recommend anyone starting or anyone in general to read this book. It's fascinating. We've had many discussions on it. Um, do you want to quickly just give a highlight before I give you my question on Clean Code of what, you know, the book is about? Clean, Clean Code is a book that I um, I knew I wanted to write for 10 years and didn't think I ought to because in the book I tell people what to do. And, and, and there was this mindset uh, long ago that you should never tell another programmer what to do. And, and at some point I just said, well, somebody's got to write this and I'm going to do it. In the book, I'm... I'm uh, I am opinionated. I tell you what to do. I, I let you know that these are my opinions and you don't actually have to do them, but I'm still very opinionated and I tell you exactly what to do. And I talk about how to write functions and how to name variables and how to, how to separate things and how to write tests in extremely opinionated and very detailed form. And it's interesting because for me, right, it's a like it's like a purist book, right? It's a very purist book, and I a lot of people, if reading that, it's it's cool to read. You learn a lot, but then you go into industries and you see it's not as pure. And so yeah. one of my questions is when you talked about um, design patterns and applying like domain driven design, for example, and you get to a stage where there's a conflict between clean code. So for example, you've got an object a domain. It makes sense um, in the domain aspect, but however, from a clean code perspective, you might feel like you need to break down your object. So for example, let's say we've got a school um, application and you've got like a student object. It makes sense. But when you look at some of the properties, you see something like address and you look at that and think, okay, from a clean code perspective, you need to break that down a bit more. However, from a domain perspective, it makes sense. Is there a line where, you know, you can kind of please both sides? You can still keep it clean, but at the same time, you still, your domain still makes sense. So this is this is the purpose of abstraction in software. Uh, and I would go so far as to say that's the purpose of, of objects, the polymorphic boundaries of, of object-oriented programming. Uh, it is possible if you are skilled enough to create abstract barriers that keep the domain stuff completely isolated from the dirty little details that you've got to program in. And if you know how to route your dependencies properly and how to use, how to use uh, polymorphic boundaries to do that, then the, the question that you posed as a dilemma is no longer a dilemma because you've got this boundary that separates the domain from the implementation in a very uh, significant way. Okay, awesome. Thank you. This is a Skillstruck presentation. If you like what you hear and see, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.